Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to be working with a new item called a list and um, it's its own entity. Uh, the word class or object can come into play but let's just get started. Now lists, strings live inside quotations, right? All right, lists live, lists live inside brackets, square brackets, not curly brackets. We'll get to curly brackets soon enough. All right, so let's just call a variable. All right, and remember, we assign it to whatever item. So our variable is called new, and right now it's an empty list. And to check to make sure we know what I'm talking about, we use our function type, and we use our parentheses class list. Now, Lynn, we can call Lynn on any item, and if it's empty, it'll show zero. Now, dir, another function, boom. Let's scroll this up a little bit just to make sure you guys can see it. Okay, now, what we're going to use today are append and extend. So, all right, now we're going to touch a little bit about on uh, mutable and immutable towards the end. So, all right, let's just get started. So, the way these work, these are called methods right here. Methods are a different way to say a function. They act the same. We invoke or call them differently. So, the way that you use a method or call it or invoke it or dot notation dot a p p e n d so all right this is going to be real tricky end it's going to put stuff at the end of the list so all right helps if you spell append correctly a p p not three p's e n d so all right now let's call new because before it was empty, now we have we put one. We're not let's not mess with strings right now. So all right, a p p e n d two. And if you looked right there, I typed pretty quickly. All right, so there's also doc strings tied to methods, and all that is is a way to say here's a reminder of what this thing does. So all right, now had one kid not too long ago say it's just counting. Well, no, I can put any number in here. So now I call new and one, two, three, eight show up. Excuse me, one, two, eight. I didn't put three in there. Okay, so now, now let's do our len function on new and see what we got three items. One, two, three. Now, now somebody says, well, you're just putting numbers. What if you put fish in there? Okay, so let's put fish in there. A P P E N D. Now, just a reminder: is fish a number? No. So it needs to live inside quotation marks. Fish. And still, I recommend using double quotations. We'll get to single quotations and why why I say this. Okay. So, and it's green, so it's a string because we it's living inside. So now, now we have. Um, our last item because it goes at the end of the list and we got fish now now here's a new keyword you haven't seen Dell because now we're gonna now now we're gonna mess around with um, oh, I'm gonna show you something about extend so, all right Dell new because we're gonna get it also into mutable and immutable right here so all right because you can I can get rid of I can use this Dell keyword just it's delete off of new and if it's our fourth item we use our third position because it's zero one two three so let's call new again one two eight now now let's create a new now when we created new we came an empty bracket and we an empty list with just open and close bracket. Now, with old, we're actually gonna create items already in the list, and you can do it just like this. So, close the bracket out, call old, boom. Now, now let's show you, 
So I'll show you this real fast and then we'll go back to more immutable and immutable. All right, so just like this, Python takes whatever information, follows your concatenation instructions, and then adds it together. Now, we didn't assign this to any any information, nor did we here. Just when it, we just put it into Python and Python spit it out. So now, now let's mess around with mutable and immutable for just a second so you can get this. So all right, new zero is one because it's right here in this position. So new position one is the second item two. So now, now watch this. New zero equals Sam. So all right, what I do? This is called reassigning because lists are mutable. It doesn't care. Python knows that this position exists in this list because there are enough. Because new is three items long because it's right here, three items long. And I reassigned Sam to the first position. So lo and behold, here we go. Now, let's show how strings are not mutable. Type error, string object does not support item assignment because you it's not built this way. Strings are not mutable, they're immutable. But if we wanna do this, this is where slicing, slicing comes into account. Actually, we're getting ahead of myself. Name, remember slicing where we has first start, stop, and step? So, starting at position, one a and I leave this blank so that means everything else everything else so it goes all the way through so if I wanted this to work maybe you guys can already see where I'm gonna go with this I think I might literally have the answer and it might go BAM what do you think BAM <laughs> I know that's cheesy but come on that's funny Okay, so now you might say, well, Python knows to do that. Well, no, Python's going to do exactly like I tell it to. So let's say I'm going to do, well, it's going to be some bad pig Latin. It'd be am, I guess I'd have to do am they. So it's going to put it in the order that I tell it to. So this is, this is how you mess more with strings. And I'll show you how you can add to strings more next time. But all right, let's get back to new and old. All right, let's reassign new to one, three, five. Okay, so we got new, old. Now, say we wanted to put old and new together because we did this plus old, we got that. Now, say we wanted to do app -E and old. Okay, so what do we think is gonna happen? How many items are there? At first glance, you say six, right? Well, it's four. Because it can't look real, real, real close. One, two, three, four. That's an item because we used append. So now, we know how to get rid of the last item. We do this. And if it's the fourth item, it's three because we start at zero. So, all right, let's check. And we got old now. Okay, I'm going to show you this. Now, last time we did new and old, we didn't. We just enter it, and we didn't assign it to anything. So, no, 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 no. We're going to wait. So, okay. Now, now we're going to use the method extend old. Okay. So, all right, newer. What did we just do with newer? Put new plus old and assigned it to newer. So, now I'm going to show you this is the exact same thing. Newer, and we just then used extend 
on our new list and we said add old to it. So new and newer are the exact same thing now, but here we did it before we added. So I want to show you this does it in place, does not create a new variable, it does it in its location. So at times you'd want to use a new variable and show your list and other times you'd want to just add a list to a list and keep going in location and there I'll have examples of that later but this is a new class called lists and there's much more we can do with them we can sort them we can arrange them we can put lists inside lists we can do anything we can put anything inside a list as you can see so Hope you guys are getting something out of this. See you next time.